Well, as you can see, it's uh, cloudy and rainy. As you can see in the puddles of water, it's still raining. First thing I'm going to do is remove my temporary camera tripod off of here. I forgot that I had put it on there with a screw, so I need to get the screw out of there. So what I've done is I've take, taken screenshots off of uh, that movie. This is one of them. And uh, it shows me a type of hairstyle around the 1860s and maybe even earlier. Um, and I'm going to talk about that in a second, but uh, let's get back out of this. But on YouTube, there's a lady that, uh, I guess she's a reenactor for, uh, you know, um, Civil War type stuff or things like that and she shows how women did their hairstyles back in the 1860s and she goes through the whole thing of putting her hair up and showing how to make the bun and how to do the side hair going back into the bun and I just uh, find this fascinating and uh, I don't know it it just helps me a lot in understanding hairstyles back then. This is about 1930s here, so I'm going to change the hairstyle. I watched uh, the video of the young lady, and I'll put up uh, her, uh, or I'll put a, a link to her video in the, the uh, comments area below the video here. I'm going to take this off. It would end up more back here like that rather than uh, up here. After she parted her hair, she divided her hair. I'm going to show you how she did that. She took uh, hair from the sides, like this, and let that hang down low. I'll show you how this is going to work out after I get done doing this bun area first. Anyway, it would go to just past the ear, the hair. And then in the back, now let me get some clay, I'm rolling out braids <coughs> that will go behind her ear. And these braids and behind her ear will be crossed over and tied and then made into a bun in the back of her head. So now I've got uh, six braids or sections of braids done and I'm going to stick them on the clay so that I can braid them. And it's just a matter of braiding them just like you would your hair. Not mine, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. Girl's got a lot more hair than I got. <laughs> Put it right here. And it would be braided right behind her ear. So I'm going to put it right up there by the ear. And these strands, the ends will determine the direction the uh, hair texture will go as well. Then she would take her hair back behind her head and quite literally just, uh, well, she would have Now 
I've got it more towards that side, so I'm going to bring it back over so it's evenly between the two ears. All right, and then what you would do is take that hair and actually twist it up like that. go back into the uh, bun uh, and she tuck it under the bun just like that that looks really cool now that was a, a typical 1860s hairstyle for a woman now I'm just going to adjust all the stuff I screwed up. This thing keeps moving. Now I'm going to add a little clay to it just to keep it from doing that, I hope. So if you remember correctly, I just put the uh, shoulders as two halves of clay. This will look a little more authentic to the time. That does look better. And there would be a division hair was divided, so I'm going to do that. It's a little light right here as far as the hair goes, so I'm going to add just a little extra hair. Okay, that puts her more in the period. If I want to. I have some loose hair hanging off, which I think I'm going to like.
I truly hope you're enjoying this video uh, during this speeded up version of uh, my sculpting. Uh, if you would like to uh, learn a little bit more about my instructional DVDs, uh, of which I've got uh, probably a good 50 years of experience packed into these DVDs, um, little tricks, little things you can do uh, in your sculpting, please check out uh, the link in the video description below this video. Also, if you enjoy this video or my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and then click on the uh, follow uh, button in the subscription. All right, back to the video. Looks pretty good. I like them together. All right, that's gonna end uh, this week, and uh, next week I'll uh, be going back on some old projects that I put aside uh, because uh, I need to get them ready to go too. So I'm gonna do a little cleaning up on them. All right, see you next week. Good night, everybody. Oh, Pioneer.